Okay, here we have Vessel Killer White. This is a 50 foot number one Key West haul. More commonly known as a 45. This one had a five foot extension added on. Original from the uh, start of the build. We're gonna do a short description walkthrough of the boat. I bought this boat three years ago from today. Here's a chime here. This goes all the way from the stern to the bow. Let's see if you can see it, it hangs below the hull about an inch or so. Provides a nice little bit of lift. The keel is a glass over wood keel, full keel. Let's go through the fish boxes on the back. This is the food cooler, or that's what I use it for. Wash down pump generally goes there. I do not have it on there. It got dirty and I took it off and it's soaking in bleach water. This box can hold about 600 pounds of snapper. And then we have these, these boxes here where I store fish on trips. This box is about a 900 pound box packed out. This bigger one here, you can fit 900 in totes and then another 200 on the side. There's a little extra space. Overall, if you were to pack fish and not use totes, I would. I would estimate 15 to 1700. Here's the day boxes. Got little hatches on top you can flip open depending on what kind of fishing you're doing. These hold about 600 each. Let's check the ice hold out. This is the hatch access point to the ice hold. Excuse me a moment while we get a flathead screwdriver because these nice stainless hinges from West Marine don't hold up very long. They're actually not stainless if you read them they're zinc plated. Okay this box here I've never packed with fish with 100 pound totes of ice I can get about 24 boxes. It goes pretty decent ways back it's hard to judge through the video that's about six to seven feet and then goes under this way about another foot and a half overall this box is ten and a half maybe eleven feet let's go check out the steering A little dirty back here. Just fixed the steering the other day. I had to rebuild my helm. Okay, what we have here, this is four stringers in this hall. One here, one here, one over there. There's the fuel tank beside it. Another one over there. This is two layers of foam, glass together and then glass all the way around and then glass to each stringer. And these are dripless rudder logs. They seem to have worked very well, very happy with them. And here's our steering ram. It's been used a little bit, it's still functioning and working. Now we're gonna move to the inside of the boat. Okay, the galley. This is where we eat. This is the table. And 
Now we're going to go to the stove, Kenmore oven, stove top. And then we'll go to the sink. Below the sink we have a couple doors here, some storage, put your cleaning supplies, food, pots, pans. Same on the left of the stove, more storage. Now we're going to go to the helm. This is the Furuno bottom machine, FCV 295, fairly new, works great. It is wired to a one kilowatt Airmar transducer, VHF radio, Raymarine autopilot, which is 90% installed, I have not finished the install, I cannot guarantee that it works. GPS, just to see if you can see that. It's your basic cheap Garmin, gets you where you need to go. Bilge pumps, radio. This down here is the high water alarm. This starts and stops the generator. Over here we have our Breaker panel, shore power to the right, or 12 volt to the left. Two more drawers. I usually keep flares, permitting, documentation, etc. Over here we have the rusty freezer. Chumming bait goes in there. Now we'll go to a quick down below. Okay. This was overhauled two years ago. We put four bunks in the very bow. Go back in there in a moment. We have three in the upper part of this cabin. Underneath this bunk here, see if we can get a full view of it. You can lift this bunk up and there's also a chest freezer under there. It's in much, much nicer shape than the one above. This, let me go back and get a better view. That's a closet, another small closet. The head, I'm gonna do a quick peek in each. Okay, that's where I keep extra wire, extra boat parts, cast net, corrosion block, every boat needs that. Hang some towels there. This one I usually keep tackle, first aid, weights, spare alternator. It's always a good thing to have. Now for the shower and the head. The sink, the head, and the shower. Below this bunk here, we have some storage hashes, hatches, excuse me. Hard to hold that up. Same under this bunk here. Keep our life jackets. And the same goes for the bunk on the left in the port. This mattress is missing at the moment because we spilled lots of water up there and it went under the mattress, kind of soaked up, so. She's drying out. We got our anchor locker up here. There's about 800, 700 feet of rope, enough to comfortably anchor in 350 feet of water or so. Here's our bow hatch. Always nice to have. Nice breeze running through here. Also helpful. There were an emergency. Okay, also down here we have a 16 BTU Cruise Air. 
Here's where the thermostat is located. The AC is underneath this bunk. Now we're going to return. We're going to do a quick walk through the engine room and we're going to fire them up. Might I add, this cabin also has a 16 BTU aqua air. I think it's related to cruise air. It's underneath the seat here. There's the vent for it. There's its thermostat. And there's where it comes out. Okay. Might have to crop this part out. That's called not having a rope or a latch for the engine hatch. And I don't like to flip it over. Puts a little pressure on the hinges. Okay, down here we have twin 3406 Caterpillars. I want to say they're original with the boat. The boat was built in 79. I cannot tell you how many hours they have on myself. I put about 2,000. I did have the injection pumps rebuilt about a year ago. Here's the new hour meter, 571 hours. I myself have cleaned the intercoolers. I changed the water pumps. I, I have cleaned off, cleaned out, excuse me, the heat exchangers as well on both of them. So the motors run well, it's ready to work. I would plan for better maintenance, maybe rebuilds down the road, but for now they get a job done. This is a Onan Marine Gen Set. Here's the specs on that. This generator has 3,165 hours on it. Runs very good, performs well. We'll run it in a moment. Century battery charger. There's the rest of the Raymarine Autopilot. Here's our breaker panel and our battery switch for the generator. We have a separate battery for the generator. There's the autopilot pump and there's the steering. The steering is Hynotic steering. It's just kind of a simple basic hydraulic steering. Over here under the stairs that's our battery switch. That's two 4D batteries. Those are our house batteries. There we have a holding tank believe 40 gallons give or take above that we have a hot water heater fans keep you cool while you're down here working more fans and another one in this corner here okay these batteries are the starting batteries these are two 8Ds these are strictly for the port. Two over here, strictly for the starboard. Come over here. It's our fuel transfer. It's our rate cores. It's our shaft logs. So they drip water. Both turbos have been replaced within the last year and a half. Excuse me, risers, not turbos. They were done by different people. This one has a hard epoxy shell around it. This one has the old school fiberglass, I don't know if it's asbestos, wrap. I prefer this one. It's a little more user friendly. This looks better, but I'm curious if those cracks are gonna grow. Okay, let's see if we can do anything else. Quick view. Let's do a front of the motor view. And there's our rake core for the generator. Okay. Oh, one last thing. We got a nice, there's our water pumps for the ACs. It's a little custom manifold we had made. So you still have one other three quarter water outlet there if you want to hook something else up. Transmission is a twin disc, two to one. I'm 
almost positive, not 100%. Okay, we're gonna start them up. Now we're going to do the generator. I'm going to push this button down here and hold it for about five to six seconds. What you hear there is a fuel pump one, fuel pump two, second fuel pump three. Pumping water. And pumping water. Okay, guys, video is getting lengthy. If you have any further questions, call or email. Open to talking, ideas, offers. So, you guys have a great day. Hope to hear from you.